We will place popular food for weight loss in a tier list so you can see how hungry they will make you and this will help you maximize weight loss and feeling full for longer. For each food, we are going to go through the main components to see where they rank in a tier list. Some popular food will have unexpected results and some will be straight up terrible for your muscle. Now let me tell you about the rules of the game right now. Each food will count as organic and very high quality. We're not going to consider pollutions and toxins and the values are for 100 grams of the food, 3.5 ounces and we're going to count it as raw. Now, how are we going to rate them? Well, one of the most important things for um, feeling full is the amount of amino acids in the food, specifically the amount of lysine, the most important one. Now, never want to rank the amount of fiber because the more your stomach will be full, the better it will be for your hunger. Then we're going to consider the volume for 100 kilocalories. So the more of the food that you can eat in 100 kilocalories, and then we're going to consider the satiety score. How much does the food make you feel full? Now, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Now, how do you feel full? Now, it happens when the right hormones are present, okay? Now, the main hormone is leptin. This is the main feel-full hormone. It's going to be made by your fat cells called adipocytes. And when you make it, you're going to feel full. You're going to feel you don't need to eat any longer. His rival is called ghrelin, and this is like the Sasuke to this Naruto, okay? So the opposite of leptin is made by your stomach, and the message of ghrelin is, I'm hungry, give me food. Then we have CCK, difficult name, I'm just going to call it CCK. It slows down the stomach empty, meaning it's going to make you feel fuller for longer. This is going to be made in the small intestine. You know when you eat something and you feel full for a long time, that's your CCK being made. You slow down the stomach empty and you're going to feel full for many, many hours. We're going to consider this because it's very important. And now I know what someone can think. Nick, there are more. What about hormone peptide? Why? What about glucagon-like peptide? Yes, I know there are more, but this is a YouTube video and it's not a university lecture. I'm done doing university lecture, I just want to entertain. So which food is going to reign supreme? Which one will score the highest and proceed to the Champions League? Let's find out. First contestant, Cod. Cod has 77 kilocalories every 100 grams, 1 gram of fat and 18 grams of proteins. Now speaking of the most important amino acid, lysine has 1.6, very good, satiety score 225. The problem here lies in the volume score, which is only 5 out of 10. You're not going to eat a lot of cod in that same amount of calories. So where do we put it? Well, decent protein, 18, lysine, 1.6, one of the best we're going to see today. Great satiety score, but low volume and volume is very important for CCK, which is one of the most important ones. So there is a case for being low A tier, but I'm going to go put it into high B also because it has zero fiber. Look at that, zero fiber. So the four low um, high B tier is the place where it belongs. Next we have oranges, and oranges 47 kilocalories, 12 grams of carbs, two of fiber, and one of protein, which is fairly low. Now, 0.3 of lysine, not great. Satiety score 2. Point, uh, 202 and volume score 7 out of 10, which means you need to eat a lot of oranges to reach that amount of calories. So where do we go? Low protein, only one. Low lysine, 0.3. And fiber, it's decent, but not great. I mean, only two, it's not really great. But it does have a great satiety score and great volume. So why are we going to put it only to low B tier and not higher? Because in the paper where, where the satiety score was found, uh, basically everyone was eating oranges. They're reporting that within 70 to 90 minutes after eating a lot of oranges, they were feeling hungry again. Why? Because the insulin in their body, because it's basically like if you look at this, this is just water and sugar. So your body will produce whole insulin and lower that blood sugar and you're going to feel hungry once again so therefore I cannot put it higher than low B tier vegetable soup then we have 46 kilocalories 10 grams of carbs 5 of fiber and 3 of proteins so obviously I'm using the nutrition facts on the normal website I normally use so there are different kind of one I pick one which is an average vegetable soup now, lysine 0.3, satiety score 178, 178, but volume score 9 out of 10. You can eat a lot of soup before filling up. Where do we put it? So, 3 grams of protein every 100 is a fairly low. Lysine is 0.3, it's not great. But we have 5 of fiber, which is really good. We have like a satiety score 178 and huge volume for CCK. So you're going to really fill up your stomach and you're going to feel full for a very long time. These easily go into low A tier. 
Next we have oats, uh, oatmeal, uh, porridge oats or avena, depending where you are in the world. What do we call it? 369, 6 grams of fat, 67 of carbs, 10 of fiber, 16 of protein. Look at the calories. These are higher than the other ones, but I will tell you more in a second. 1.3 of lysine, really, really good. Satiety score, 209, really, really good. Volume score, 9 out of 10. Where is this? Well, this is apart being my favorite food is going to go rightfully right away into S tier. And now I will tell you why low S tier, not high S tier. Now, protein 16, very good. Lysine 1.3, good. Fiber 10 grams every 100, really, really good. But this type of fiber is very, very special because like it's going to soak up a lot of water. So when you have porridge like even if the, the amounts are not really high, you they become so large that they're gonna fill you up in a great way. And that's why they have 209 of satiety score and great volume, nine out of 10. Obviously you need to consider the calories because 369 is not the same as 49 of the of the of some of the other ones. So considering the calories is gonna go into low S tier, not high S tier, but an excellent choice nevertheless. Followed by red kidney beans, and these are gonna be also very, very good choice. 289 calories, 60 of carbs, of which 23 of fiber. That's a huge amount of fiber. You wanna go to the toilet regularly, drink water and eat red kidney beans, and you will go to the toilet very often. Protein 30. Now, lysine 1.7, really, really great. Satiety score 168, volume score 9 out of 10. Where do we put them? This is very difficult, very, very difficult because look at the calories 289, which is good. Fiber is really, really good. 23 is amazing. 13 of protein. Again, really, really good. 1.7 of lysine, one of the best we're going to see today. So, why am I putting it there? Because the satiety score is only 168 and the volume is 9 out of 10. Why do I put it below oats? I mean, there is a case of them being probably a, like, a, like, a, like a tie. Uh, it's very difficult. But the reason is a lot of the values are very similar. So oats is better in protein, whereas like beans are better in lysine. Fiber, oats is better. But satiety score... Um, Oats is better. Uh, very, very hard. I'm going to put it below it um, because it's my tier list and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I like oats more. Even I think I find that it's easier to eat oats compared to eat beans for the same amounts of calories, although that's debatable. That's debatable. So they could be at the same level. For now, oats is going to be number one. And beans are going to be number two, but that's the beta. We're going to see later in the tier list if anything changes. Next is popcorn. And popcorn and air popped uh, popcorn, not like uh, fat popped popcorn. 382 kilocalories, 4.2 grams of fat, and uh, 77 total carbs, 15.1 grams of fiber. Really, really good. Like, I didn't know that they have a very good fiber. 12 of protein. So popcorn, they actually make sense. 0 0.9 of lysine, good. Satiety score 154, which is really good. Volume score 8 out of 10. You can eat a lot of them before you reach the same amount of calories. Obviously, 382 calories, you have to be careful not to eat too much. But with that said, where are we going to put it? So first of all, make sure they are uh, air or microwave popped. So they're going, to be, they're going to be with the values I'm giving you right now. Should you use the microwave? I don't know yet. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Now, fiber is 15, protein is 12, and lysine 0 0.9. All very good. Satiety score 154, and volume 8 out of 10. So, looking at the calories, I was thinking about mid ATR with a case of high, but I'm going to put it lower just for the amount of calories. Same thing I was telling you before about porridge oats. But nevertheless, they will make you feel full, especially when they are popped up very, very quickly. Next, we have walnuts. And walnuts, they have 655 kilocalories. Look at that. 59 grams of, of fat. And if you want to understand more about nuts, I'm going to put um, in, in the corner, in the, in the top uh, left corner, uh, or right corner, I don't know, um, the, a card to watch the whole video on nuts. Now, 10 of carbs, 7 of fiber, 24 of proteins. Really, really, really high. 
Now, 0.7 of lysine, not great, but not bad either. 1.9, 190 of satiety score, but very low volume score. You will eat very few nuts to reach the same amount of kilocalories of many of the other foods, which means I cannot put them higher than high C tier. Why? Because fiber is seven. Uh, there is a great amount of protein. Lysine is just okay. So that score is very high, but the volume is really, really low. And remember what I told you before, like CCK is one of the most, if not the most important hormone to feel fuller. And therefore, looking at the calories, looking at the amount you can eat, uh, you can't really eat an unlimited amount. And therefore, which is the same reason why they could not be extremely high also in the nut tier list, uh, they're going to go into a um, high C tier. Sorry, walnuts, I like you, but that's your place in your tier list. Next, we have X, X149, uh, 139 kilocalories, 10 of fat, uh, 1 of carbs, and 13 of proteins, which is fairly good. Now, 0.9 or lysine, satiety score 150, volume score 5 out of 10, but the combination of fat and protein in, a, in an animal-based protein, they will make you feel fuller for a bit longer, so I'm going to give them like a bit of a bonus for them. Where are we putting them? No fiber, which is not great, 13 of protein, 0.9 of lysine, good, so that is called 150 and volume 5, which is 5 out of 10, which is pretty good, but the combination of the protein and fat, the specific combination of the proteins and the fat in eggs, they give you like an extra edge. So where are we putting them? They're going to go into high B tier and they can be tied with, uh, with cod. Like um, visually, I cannot put them on the same thing because you're not going to be able to see them, but they are at the same place. So both of them are number one in high B tier. Finally, we have boiled potatoes, and now you will understand why. 66 kilocalories, 16 of carbs, only 2 of fiber, only 2 of protein. But look at that. 0.2 of lysine, not great. Satiety score, 323. <laughs> and a volume score of 10 out of 10. Now, in the paper, which I used to, to create this tier list, which was the first paper about satiety score, like boiled potatoes, they were scoring number one, absolutely in satiety. They were like super, super powerful. But there is a problem. Where do we put them? I'm going to put them into, into A tier, not S tier. Why? Because they have low proteins and low fiber. So they're going to feel you full right now. But what's going to happen later? Well, you're going to feel in about 90 minutes, you're going to feel hungry again. Why? Because there's going to stimulate once again the release of insulin. Insulin is going to bring down the blood sugar and there is not much behind being carbs in here. So the blood sugar is gonna go down once again and you're gonna feel like uh, hungry once again. The other reason why people feel so full is actually something that potatoes have, which is actually like a toxin. It's called solanin, okay? And it's basically something that if you eat too much of that, you're going to feel like full, but you also can feel nausea. And in fact, people in the group, they were saying, oh, these potatoes here, they made me feel so full, I was feeling nauseous. They were not the potatoes itself, but it was basically the toxin in the potato called solanin. So with that said, What's going to be our final verdict of our situation? So the final verdict is going to be like this. The victor is oatmeal, but I am a bit biased, I need to say, since it is my favorite food and uh, I find red beans slightly harder to eat for the same amount. But can I, can I say one is really super better than the other? I think the answer is no. And I really wanted to give it another go, one against the other. So for this video here, we're going to promote both of them to the Champions League. So they will both pass. And we're going to see what happens in the next round. I'm going to put them one against the other once again, maybe in an individual duel. If you are interested, let me know down below if you're interested in me getting one foot versus the other directly and see which one wins and going much deeper into the nutritional values and everything. Let me know down below if this is something you're interested. For now, I'm going to get oats and, um, and beans, both of them, 
going to the to the to the next round now let me recap the four parameters for you to fill full and then we're done now the first one is the overall calories intake obviously if you're too low in calories you can eat some of the best foods but you're gonna feel hungry your body is gonna protest and you will want to eat more the second you have to have a high amount of proteins with lysine being the most important one this is going to stimulate the release of leptin you're gonna feel fuller third highest amount of fiber that you can get fiber literally like swells with fluid so with like water your stomach acid and so on and forth it's gonna fill up your stomach and combined with the maximum level of food you're going to produce cck which is that hormone that is gonna really feel you feel very full for a long period of time now if you do everything i told you today plus good hydration you're going to be feeling absolutely amazing and your path towards better weight will be much simpler now with that said watch the next video of the tier list right here you can subscribe to my channel right here if you want to have more content like this i have 16 of them coming out in the next uh, probably month and please comment down below what nutrition tier list you would like to see next for now have a great day and bye bye ciao ciao